Following May's lunar eclipse, Americans will have another reason to look up Thursday morning as the moon passes over the sun. But don't get too excited, though, as our view of the annular solar eclipse won't be as good as others. 10 News meteorologist Justin McKee explains. Let's start with what exactly an annular eclipse is. Basically, the moon is too far away from the sun to fully block it, and that creates what's called a ring of fire. This will be best seen in Canada, but people in the Northeast and Great Lakes states in the United States will see 70 to 80 percent of the sun covered by the moon, of course, weather permitting. Further south, we're looking at about a 30 percent coverage of the moon. And of course, all of this is going to be happening very close to sunrise. The peak eclipse 601. That's two minutes after sunrise at 559 a.m. And all of this is going to be coming to an end as we go to the end of the eclipse. That's 27 minutes later, 628 a.m. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. Unfortunately, the weather forecast doesn't look great for our chances to see this. Clouds and or rain could be in our way. If you do try your luck at seeing this event, make sure you wear your eclipse glasses. And the next total solar eclipse in the United States will occur in about three years. That's April 2024. Reporting in the studio, Justin McKee, 10 News, working for you.